Tawny Casserly here at the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. And we are standing on the deck of our Thunder Bay training and dive tank. And this facility is wonderful because we can bring in other sanctuary sites. We can bring in other NOAA partners. We can teach them how to do archaeology in a controlled environment. If they need to learn how to use ROVs, we can do that here. Here's the inside of the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary dive locker. This is where we keep all the gears, this is all the good stuff. Um, you can see here we have all our BCDs, our buoyancy compensator devices, all our dry suits. We do wear dry suits here in Thunder Bay. The water can be quite cold, ranging anywhere between the mid 30s to the low 70s. We also use gear in Thunder Bay such as rebreathers. We do have to dive deeper to see some of these pristine wrecks. So here's a really good example of that. This is called a Megalodon closed circuit rebreather. But sometimes, you know, we use regular open circuit dive gear. And we have two compressors here. We have an air compressor and a nitrox compressor that can blend 22% uh, to 40% nitrox. So air is 21% oxygen and the rest is nitrogen. And what this machine does here, this compressor, is actually adds more oxygen to the air. So you could take it up to 22% to 40%. And it's a safety benefit and sort of a health benefit as well. So this is a wonderful resource that we can use here for our NOAA divers and for our partners. This is probably one of the only training and testing takes in the Great Lakes. It's just the sheer size of it. We're lucky enough to be on the location of a former paper plant. So this is already part of that industrial infrastructure. We were lucky that it wasn't being used. We could fill it up and use it for our purposes. Again, 80 feet across, 18 feet deep, and 600,000 gallons for controlled environment for outreach, education, testing equipment, and search and rescue training.